guys, you know, women want to sleep with him. Guys want to have a beer with him. He's a good guy. Congratulations to the both of you. This is wonderful, just wonderful. And I wanted to ask, I mean, what was it that um, propelled you to take a classic, a 1950s classic, and retell it in this way? I think really it starts with the script and, and John Ridley, who got the Academy Award for 12 Years a Slave, um, wrote an amazing script and we read it. It was a page turner and we thought, wow, Ben-Hur, could we really be that daring? to sign on to produce Ben-Hur. And we spoke to our kids, oh. and the kids said, Ben who? And we suddenly <laughs> realized people under 35 have never even heard of Ben-Hur. They don't even know what it was, you know? So there's a whole new generation ready and who need to hear and see this great story. You're absolutely right. And then you pick, you know, you get Jack Houston. I mean, I, I just said to him, I go, your grandfather would be so proud of you. Mm -hmm. Honest to God. Mm -hmm. What was it? What did you see in him? Because he's just wonderful in this role. He's got great quality. He He's such an upbeat, cool guy. Mm -hmm. And I think he's relatable to, you know, guys, you know, women want to sleep with him. Guys want to have a beer with him. He's a good guy, and he's also got a vulnerability. And I think that's so important in a leading man action hero to show some vulnerability. Um, and you really care about him on this journey. You do, and that's important because you really do take the journey with the character of Judah Ben-Hur. We see at the beginning of the film that he's living a princely life, almost an unexamined life. Yeah and then his fall from grace through the series of circumstances. He ends up as a prisoner in the, in the belly of a ship. Uh, and of course, when he ends up coming back, it's, it's this dangerous story of revenge that ultimately becomes a story of redemption. But it's a, an amazing journey that he goes on. We have to go on it with him. It was important that we find a, a likable actor, and this role of Judah Ben-Hur is a star-making role for Jack Houston. Oh, no yes. question. But why, why is it so important to have a story like this in, you know, in this age, in this day and age well, now? More than ever. I mean, this is a, the story of the worst thing happening between these adopted brothers that leads to wanting to do nothing but kill each other, and then realizing when the opportunity arrives, what's the point of that? Forgiveness, redemption, moving on. You know, it, it, it says in the Bible, Jesus says, if you don't forgive others, God will not forgive you. And in the end, we're all hoping to get to heaven and forgiveness is critical to moving forward. This movie is a big, giant action adventure, fun blockbuster woven in with the story of forgiveness. Yeah, it's beautiful. It really, really is. It really moved me a lot. Um, big week, I have to say, not just the movie, but you got your star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. <laughs> but on top of all that, yeah, really you're next bad. to him. I mean, you're married. <laughs> you spend all your time. Like, really? You want to be in eternity on the ground with him, I too? I know. I said, God, I hope it works out or it will be in there with a the jackhammer. <laughs> <laughs> What was it like for you to be there with all your friends and family? Oh, it was so lovely. You know, 25 years ago when I moved to Los Angeles, I ran down Hollywood Boulevard like Dorothy on the yellow brick road, looking at all the stars, never dreaming that one day I would have a star there. I am a living testimony to the fact that dreams can come true. Yeah, well, In America. In America, absolutely. You guys are fabulous. God bless America. Yes. God bless everybody. Mm -hmm. right? That's right. That's there right. you go. You did a terrific job. Thank you so much for bringing us this film. And Thank lovely you. to meet both of you.